Hey everyone, DuckNuck84, back with more Broken Sword. And in the last one, we were interviewed by the police officers here, and we did a bunch of other stuff as well. We did some clue finding with Nico, and our two characters are about to meet for the first time. Excuse me, mademoiselle? Hi, uh, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yep, that's right. On vacation in Paris. <laughs> Some vacation, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out in front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with a hat and over... You mean the dead guy? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm Nico Collard from La Liberté. Uh, what is that, uh, some kind of nightclub? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you could interview me about the bombing. An eyewitness account, minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but it was but a clown. It was like a clown. A clown? It's him again. First a mime, then a... Or actually, first a penguin, then a snowman, then a mime, now a clown. He's getting desperate. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. Oh, just giving me the cold shoulder, are we? Do you know a police officer called Rosso? Rosso? Our paths have a knack of crossing. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was deliberate. Have you seen Rosso? Is he here? And he's inside, attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. That guy is weird. Yeah. Yeah, because... I'm surprised he hasn't been fired from the police force, being he thinks he can solve crimes psychically. Who was the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Plantard. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. That, or... You can speak to the dead like our last adventure game, Blackwell. And let's Why talk about the, about the clown. Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? Don't justice. Yeah, I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. You help me with my story, and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, uh, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on soon with you. Uh, fine. Uh, I'll see you soon. So let that be a lesson to you. If you want to get the girl's number, talk to her about psychopathic clown killers. Okay, so we have the newspaper and the card read her Augustin Rosso card gave an address to the south of the Montparnasse cemetery. By a cemetery, that's not good. Daily okay, so that's. Nothing. Let's talk to the sergeant. Sergeant Moo? Ah, Monsieur Stobart, n'est-ce pas? That's correct. You remember me. The retention of such data is part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our crime is fought through attention to detail, not intuition. Yes, yeah, sure. So, what is Rosso doing with that girl? He is giving her the once over. As you Americans say, once he gets his teeth into a case, nothing will shake him off. Yeah, giving them the once-over usually involves the good cop, bad cop, and I don't think that's what he's doing. He's playing psychic cop. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Does that worry you? Yes, it does. I feel I kind of... I owe it to him to find his killer. I owe it to justice! Is that left to the authorities, monsieur? Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No. He just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you, monsieur. Go on and try to forget. But I can't forget. I know the identity of the dead guy. His name was Plantau. Is that so? You knew him, did you? No, but... We'll know everything there is to know about him soon enough. I'm trying to be helpful here. The best way you can help us is to go home, monsieur. Besides, you are American. I found this in the street, Sergeant. 
That, monsieur, is a newspaper. No. no. There's a note written on it. Salah ed 1345. Aha! That stumped you, hasn't it? I have never been stumped, as you put it, in my life, monsieur. It is the name assumed by the clown, no? Salah ed the clown? No. No. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Um, I could show the card, but... Look, Sergeant, the inspector gave me his card. Yes, monsieur. He wants you to advise him if you have any information concerning this case. Well, I'd be glad to talk with him, but I don't want him working his psycho weirdness on me. Ah, no, monsieur. You are confusing the science of parapsychology with witchcraft. Oh, kind of yeah. the same, isn't What's it? The difference? We don't do sacrifices. Okay, well, that's good to know that you don't do sacrifices. That, that's how you can tell the difference between a parapsychologist and a witch. Witches do sacrifices, apparently. Okay, so we can't go over there because we need something to get into the sewer. Well, let's talk to this ditch digger here. Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested! No, nah, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics were quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing... You're just guilty of being American. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Care did. I could have knocked this block off. Okay, so he had a did very bad sense of humor. Man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantow. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant! Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. Yeah. Yeah, they do. So, and did you see a clown, too? Did you see a clown too? come by this way? A clown? Like, in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Ho! Oh, those guys are funny, aren't they? No. Not in my experience. They're creepy. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Uh, okay, is there anything Look, else? I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already! I didn't see a thing! He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. He'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. Okay, so he's not going to tell us anything about the clown. Take a look at this. Hey! You're a cop? Don't shout about it. I'm working undercover. Who are you looking for? That's confidential. Okay, so he thinks we're a cop now, so then we Listen, can ask him about the clown. I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Why would I want to help the cops? Community spirit. Uh, together we can combat crime and stuff. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Well, he did try to kill me. Explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any bodies? Yeah, that guy yeah. that you An old man called something and now you regret. Damned. I didn't think it was that serious. What about the waitress? Oh, she's fine. Thank the saints. Okay, so at least you told me still Would nothing you like much. To read my newspaper? Why not? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip, so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Bah! Look at these damn bleeding out liberals. Cha! Save the dolphins, catch them, and eat them, I say. All that fuss over a bunch of fish. Nah, that's more like it. Look at the size of those. Like champagne bottle corks. No. I have no idea what ah, you're looking at. What's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. 
It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. Bucephalus reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning, she is. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stuff it. Help yourself. Okay, so I'm guessing now from what I remember is he has what we need to get into the sewer. I found just what I wanted. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I remember pretty much a lot of the first part here, but that's about it. Let's see. I can call Nico, but I don't need to right now. Okay, so let's go back here. And now we can use that on that. And put that somehow back into our jacket. Reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. Well, because it is a sewer, duh. And now we can go down into the Paris sewers and hopefully not find alligators, ninja turtles, or any other weird mutated things. What do we have here? As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be worn. It was the clown's red nose. We have the clown's red nose. Which I won't think... I wonder if they took that out. Oh yeah, I guess they did. Because you used to be able to put it on. Although maybe that was later in the game. And what do we have here? I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold and greasy. Like breakfast leftovers. It was the soggy tissue I'd found in the sewers. Yeah, um, I don't think you'd really want to pick up soggy tissues in the sewers. It's not very sanitary. I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. It was the scrap of material I'd found in the sewer. Which I'm guessing is the clown's pants. Or part of the clown's pants. Hello, good sir. Uh, hold it right there, you... you sewer rat. <laughs> I knew you'd come back. And now I've got you. What are you talking about? You're trespassing. Come out of there, immediately. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. No, you've been in the sewer. Why would I want to touch you? You won't catch me with tricks like that. Keep your distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? I was looking for a clown. I was looking for a clown. Ha! Huh, ridiculous. Do you really expect me to believe that? He planted a bomb in the cafe and blew it up. What? The cafe? Blown up? Mon Dieu! That is awful. And you say the person responsible was dressed as a clown? That's right. He blew up the cafe, escaped into the sewer, changed his clothes, and came up here. Ah, mon dieu! Then, the man I chased. Do you think that man and the clown are one and the same? Well, yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah. That still does not explain what you are doing down the sewer. I was looking for oh, the clown. No, you are in league with him. Oh no, I'm just a tourist. Down in the sewer. Uh, most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, or the Pigalle. 
I didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. Well, they are very fascinating, architecturally speaking. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> what is there to tell? He was a typical criminal type. <laughs> Just like you. Okay, but where is he if you apprehended him? Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, hey, she isn't hurt, is she? No, she's fine. Oh, thank heavens. A poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you roaming the streets. Can't you understand? I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. Is there a difference? Ah, that's what you say. You know, this waitress is very popular with elderly men. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm going to find the guy responsible. I'll find him. Even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. Bravo! Just don't do it here. You need some sensible boots. You won't get far in those stupid sneakers. Hey, I like my loafers that I'm wearing. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why? <laughs> I, I didn't notice. Uh, now are you going to leave, or do I have to call the police? Um, let's see, he's not going to that. What about that? Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Mm hmm What is this? Inspector Augustin Rosso? What does that say? Hominoid Division? Homicide. A uh, homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something different about you. It is your posture, your, your poise. Oh, yes. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And uh, I should know. I was in the army, you know. When I was your age, I was fighting for my life in the African desert. Uh, how can I help you, Inspector? You can help me find justice! So tell me more if tell you found the clown. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one, monsieur. He grabbed me in an arm lock. His face suddenly next to mine. His grip was like iron. But he did not know what he was up against. Oh no! He made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. Yeah, anything else to she add about her? Cafe. <laughs> you, you, you can't suspect her, ah, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, uh, I know her. Quite well, you could say. Uh, she came to work at the cafe oh, uh, six, uh, seven months ago. I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. That... Really? So yeah. You'd miss her if she wasn't there. I don't want to know what type of relief Where she's giving you. To cut my toenails? Why is she Why is she cutting your toenails? Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Okay, and again, back was with the, the briefcase. Guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why yes, it was clutched in his arms like a baby. That belonged to his victim. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? I don't know. But the killer thought it was worth a man's life. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, monsieur. Apparently it is. Uh, what Take about my clown nose? This false nose. Aha! Uh -huh. That looks like a clown's nose to me. Precisely. He must have dropped it in his panic. Unless he wanted you to find it. Why would he want to do that? To put you off this end? Because he cannot smell! What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. It's uh, mm, disgusting. Yeah, I, I don't know why I have it either. You to show it to me? Someone has emptied their nostrils into it. And apparently they have purple blood. Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. I'd recognize that pattern anywhere. The jacket? Now, about the jacket you found. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn, so I sent it for repair. 
<laughs> a pity, because otherwise it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name inside on the label. And what would that what be you then? The jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. Okay, so he gave it... I. That's something I think that went over my head when I was little, but uh, I think he's making a gypsy reference. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not as soon. You know what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. Hmm. Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. An ordinary person? That means we'll have to check everybody in town. What was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Todd Rick, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74980859. You're kidding. That's his phone number? Yes, that's it. A little trick with numbers that I learned in the desert. In the war. I was taught the technique by a Tuareg shaman. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. Uh, do I get a reward? Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Okay, and I don't think he's going to care about that. This is what I use to open the manhole cover. I have one just the same as that, monsieur. I will fetch it if you like. No, don't bother. Oh, it is no bother, monsieur. Nah, forget it. Just trying to be helpful, monsieur. Okay, so I think that that's it for I that. I have to be but... going. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Vraiment? I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. For justice! Okay, so... so the into the sewer, come up into the courtyard, and then slip back into the street here. It wasn't much, but it was more than the cops had got. Yeah, besides, they're using psychic detections, which ain't gonna get them squat. So let's see, who can we call? We can call... I think we can also call... I yeah, should probably call her now, but let's talk to this guy first. Hello? Who is this? Hi. My name's George Stobart. You don't know me. Correct, Mr. Stobart. I don't. What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No. No. That's not possible. Oh, okay. Uh, forget it. Listen, all I want is a name. What are you talking about? Who are you working for? I guess you might say I'm acting in the interests of truth and justice. justice. Ah, oh, thank God. I thought you were the police. There are innocent lives at stake, Mr. Todrick. Lives that you could save. You're collecting for charity, yes? No, I'm not. All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. I want to know about the clown. What do you know about the clown who bombed the Café de la Chambre? That just happened. That hasn't been reported. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're cool, Todrick. But I think you know more than you're saying. I don't know who you be, but sure I am. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is ridiculous. Quit playing games with me, Todrick. I tell you, I know nothing about no clown. Do you, Do you know, know a, a plantar? plantar? No, I never heard of him. Shall I tell you what happened to Plantar? How he was killed in cold blood? I told you, I never heard of Plantar. And... I expect Plantar about that? a family man. Don't you? In their little apartment, Madame Plantar is cooking the supper, listening for the familiar sound of her husband's key in the door. <laughs> Junior is waiting for his daddy to come home from work. He can't wait to show him the merit marks he earned in school today. Really? Only tonight, Monsieur Plantar won't be coming home. You forgot the puppy. Huh? The faithful puppy dog, waiting for the sound of his master's voice. Oh, yes. Maybe they don't yeah. have a dog. Maybe they're what a cat people. Think? I don't know Planter. I never heard of Planter. None of this has anything to do with me. Okay, so I have nothing else I can ask you. Thanks for nothing, Todrick. 
So maybe there's something else I have to find. Let's see. Let's talk to Nico. Hello, Nico Kulat. Hello, it's George. Ah, oh, oui. Uh, you said to call if I could help. Have you any news for me? You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the clown. And I know where the killer gets his suits. No kidding. Hey, I'm impressed. You are? Well, it wasn't easy. Look, why don't you come here to my apartment later this afternoon? Uh, fine. Where do you live? 361 Rue Jarry. Okay. I'll come over. I was used to working alone, but I had to admit it felt good with George on the case too. But there were some things I was going to have to do alone, and fast. I needed the answers to some questions. Who was the costume killer? And why did he murder Carchon? Why did Carchon ask for me to interview him? How did he know my father? And why was my editor so scared? There was some kind of secret war going on out there. But who was on which side? One thing I did know. I wasn't going to get the answers sitting at my desk. And now it looks like we're entering in a new part of the game that was added in the director's cut. Let's just look at our desk. My old table had seen better days. I was beginning to know how it felt. And our stereo. Okay, so that just turns on music. Don't. I do not know where we are going, but I pray to God that we are gonna get there. Stay with me, don't leave me where you go. Okay. I can't be left alone at all. Well, I think with that, that actually might make a good. Uh, place to end it so i've been duck 84 and i'll see you next time